This is a quick video on how I fixed my reverse osmosis water filter. I had recently changed the filters and after a couple days I noticed that it was continually running. You could hear the water filtering non-stop even after the tank had gotten full. So I researched it on the internet and I found that it could be the auto shutoff valve or the check valve. Here I've got my towel laid out and I got this little plastic tub which works real good. Pull this out. Now this is the auto shutoff valve here. Before you take it apart I would suggest that you mark the lines so you know you put it back together correctly. So here's the auto shutoff valve and I'm going to take since it has screws on it I'm going to take it apart and see if there's a piece of dirt in there or something. So here's the inside of the auto shutoff valve. Basically what happens is the water comes in, it pushes on this rubber seal, it pushes on this little plastic piston, which pushes on this rubber seal and it closes this part right here and it shuts the water off. About the only thing that can go wrong is the rubber seals will tear. And this one looks fine and this looks fine and if you close one end and blow in on this side if there's no leak then you know it's good. This part right here is the check valve and it's only supposed to let water go one way and that's why I think mine is broke is because once the water pressure is shut off the tank continues to back flow to the wastewater. So here's the check valve and I think this is the broken part because I was able to blow in through this side and air would come out that side and I, was, I would blow in this side and air would come out that side and it's not supposed to do that. It's only supposed to let it flow one way. Okay the new part just came in and I was unable to blow through either direction. I guess my lungs aren't strong enough to raise that kind of pressure. So that's another reason why I think this valve has gone bad. That it was so easy to blow through it each way. And one other thing, the original part had some kind of sealant on this side of the threads. So what I'm going to do is take a little piece of Teflon tape and wrap it around these threads so it gets a nice seal. Okay, well so far so good. It's been running about 10 minutes and I can hear the water pressure going through there and there's no leaks. So it's about five days later and the filter has successfully been fixed. The problem was the check valve. It was a $5 part plus $7 shipping so it was $12 total cost. Now it works properly, it'll fill up the tank, it'll shut off, and then once I use some water out of the spigot, it'll turn back on and run for, I don't know, half an hour until it's filled back up and shuts off properly. And I hope this video has helped a couple people who are trying to troubleshoot problems with the reverse osmosis water filter system. Thanks.